Hello, my name is Ed. Welcome back to Stone Block. And look at it, it is very aptly named at the moment. Because all I can see is stone. This is still doing its thing. Look at it, look at it go. And it's like the last little section, I think. Maybe the last few chunks. And um, we've still got all our mess down here. But look at the space that we have now, which is rather excellent. And, you know, hopefully do some cool stuff. So. Um, I've I've discovered and done some things. Uh, I for whatever reason I don't know why, but this is all like this is there's a lot of entities in there. Um, there are this has gone weird. This has gone weird. There's like a a, a weird glitch. Um, I don't know why, but uh, we'll sort that out at some point. Over here, like all of these are fine. All of these are totally fine, but um, over there not so much. Now the Ender Farm, Ender Ender Star Farm. I've you can see. I've made improvements. I have made improvements. So I'm no longer using the plant gatherer and the plant sower or whatever it is called. I'm using a mechanical user and I, I sort of forgot that that was a thing and that I could do. Activate block with item, right click uh, and done. And what it does, it, it harvests the plant just as if it were a person. And then there is this, the imaginary time block. Now I got this in a... um. It as, as a reward, I think, or something like that. Uh, if we look at it, uh, the recipe is not too bad, but you need to make like a lot of things, like all of this. That is just that, and uh, that is that. You get these from mob drops, so you need to make a lot of them basically to you know build up to that. But I got one, and basically it it increases the tick rate. It seems it doesn't work on everything. I'm sort of fuzzy on what it does work on, but what <laughs> what it very much works on is this right here and you can see and I've just attached I've attached uh, that barrel to these barrels just so that it shows up in our thing and look at that look at that we are totally fine for ender stars now like uh, nether stars like completely completely fine so that is a very very simple way of making like a an absolute boss nether star farm like look at that look at that go I doubt we need the growth crystal there. Imaginary time block is the thing that you want. And that is, yeah, just powered basically. And then it's all fine. Now, uh, to begin with, what I want to do is get my solium dagger. And am I going to have to... Oh, yes, I am. I need a lot more. There we go. Let's grab some XP. Um, so we need um, we need some mob chunks, basically, just to finish off. Finish off the chickens. Look, we're at 97%, and the only bit I need is this chicken seeds. Um, so I thought it might be nice, because we're so close. Chicken seeds, uh, seed, there we go. And because we're so close to it, I thought it would be great. And we need four, there you go, four of these tier two mob chunks, which is actually just a tier one uh, mob chunk, which is actually just like a zombie chunk or whatever, like that. Uh, tier one mob chunk, I don't know. It's weird, it's weird. These you can only get with a solium dagger. Um, a solium dagger uh, that you make from solium and mystical whatever. Now, again, I lucked out and got this from a loot crate or a re reward. I can't quite remember. Um, if you want to know the recipe, it's not that hard. It's just, can I Can I not? Can I not do that? There we go. Um, that mystical stick, fairly easy. And solium is a little bit more of a thing. Uh, if we look at that, solium dust, which is that. And then that is uh, this. There you go. So it's not too hard. A little bit of faff, but there you go. So I'm just, I'm basically, I'm putting unbreaking on it. Bam. Uh, I'm putting looting three on it. Bam. And sharpness. Just to make this a little bit easier and faster to use. And what you do, you basically go mob hunting. Um, and you, yeah, you kill some mobs, get, a, get some mob chunks. So that's what I'm up to. I've removed some... Aha, there we go. I've removed some of my mega torches here in hopes of generating a, a few mobs. There you go. There we go. And it's obviously, it's going to go dark now. Oh, wow. The mob, that mob generated and then pretty swiftly um, got some glowstone on it as well. There we go. Did we get anything, anything exciting? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera because it is going to be dark. Right then, I got four zombie chunks, as you can see. And what we can do is pop those in here and get just a regular tier one chunk, which is what what we want, a mob chunk. So, to make those, we now need tier two 
to two mob chunks like that. So you just, you know, make the prudentium. Whatever. Uh, and now we need four of these. There we go. Lovely stuff. And lastly, we can, uh, we need to make one of those. Have I got any of that? No. And there we go. Bam. And bam. Lovely. Can I get that? Yes, I can. Oh, wow. There's a, like a fanfare and everything. Chapter complete. I like it. I like it. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the thing? There we go. And for that, we get three hoppers. For finishing a chapter, and there you go, we get that lovely green tick. I also got one here. Let's just do that. Well, we got climbing gloves. I can fly. I do not need them. <laughs> and oh no, let's not put them on there. There we go. Right. There we go. So, just a little thing I, I thought I'd show you as well. This morphing tool is a rather excellent. So it's a mod by the maker of Britannia, Vasky. And uh, what it does is you can put different wrenches in it. So different types of wrenches. And then whatever mod you're looking at, so Ender.io, then the Yeta wrench will appear. If you're looking on RF tools, the Smart wrench will appear. There you go. Look at that. And uh, Thermal Expansion, the Crescent Hammer. How great is that? And then when it's not in use, it just becomes the morphing tool again. Now you have to actually craft the respective wrench and then just craft it with the morphing tool in a crafting grid and it will add it to the list but very nice just a nice little extra thing so i i want to do something i want to do something a bit nice and i i think one thing i want to do is work out the pillars i i would like a pillar and I like quite a few pillars uh dotted around here and i think i don't know if i need to wait basically for all of that to be done before i do the floor um everywhere I think I think we probably should and I would like to do it in circles because we have got a circle there you go we have got a circle here of that and I'd, I'd like to do a little bit more of that and someone mentioned like putting in some gardens and things like that I like that idea a lot and I think we will do something uh, like that I've just turned off our mob farm as well just so that we can maybe make this a little bit better again as well so to begin with I think I would like to set up um I think we're going to do something around here and I want what I'm envisaging as well is like a big a big like cylin cylinder cylinder uh, cylinder of of something uh, where we put our ME system and then all all of our barrels basically like even all of these as well that's what I'm sort of got in mind um so that's what I'm going to try and do right now and I think I don't know if the builder is still there oh it is look at that the structure builder so i'm going to try and do that and work on the pillars as well i'll be back shortly small update on the new pillar look at it in all its beefy glory um it is it is huge it is huge uh and what i've done basically is the edge of this circle that we had you, you can almost just about see you know it's it's subtle but it's there oh and that's there's a, there's a mist there. Look at that. Um, basically, what I've done is just obviously just you know, put a little trim of quartz stairs around it. And it's 7x7. Seven seven. So I've come over here and set this up again. Uh, I've made a new builder and I've infused it, this one. Uh, I'm just going to try and... See, I think it needs a lot more than that. Uh, oh, is it is it doing it? Uh, this is off though. There you go. Um, why are you not coming on? Let's just have a look again. Out, out. Yeah, there's all of that. Okay, okay. Why isn't this been? Why has this been weird? What's this random block up here that it seemed to try to place out of nowhere? There you go. Let's do that. Let's try this again. Um, let's have a look. This is on. Yeah, that's there. All of that. So that is the dimensions. So it's just the seven by seven cylinder. Make sure that you do it hollow, otherwise it will fill it up completely, which we don't need. We don't need. Uh, and why aren't you doing anything? Oh, that is off. That is on. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> and I need so much more. That is quite, that's quite scary seeing that just come towards you. But there you go. So I need to make a lot more and then we'll do another like four at each side. And I think we're going to have these dotted around the place. It's just going to look... Well, it's just going to look quite huge. And then obviously we'll probably put some stairs at the top. But 
we'll also do something with the ceiling at some stage as well. Right then, look at this. I've got four pillars and wow, I've got another one here as well. So this is basically this this new one. This is going to be our like central hub and if we you can trace the line to the right the center of there so the center of there is goes like diagonally to the center of there so that's sort of how i worked that out and i'm now just i'm trying to make this a little bit more of a special a special one so i'm just sort of just sort of messing around with the design and i say design very loosely but you know i just thought it'd be nice to have something a little bit different and then did i do anything there no i didn't um then maybe we do something like that here and it, you know what, it feels very luxurious to be just doing all of this in quartz. Like, it's not a not a material I usually really build with, because it, obviously it's so expensive. Be because they were basically the first chickens that I had. Um, like, I've just got a lot of quartz. And this, don't get me wrong, this has still taken a lot of quartz uh, to do all of this. But uh, it's, I think... I think worth it. And then, have I done all of that? Yeah, I have. There you go. That's a little bit more special. I like it. I like it. It's a bit bit of a bigger base. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move um, basic. Oh, back up. Good. I'm going to move our, um, our ME stuff back here so that we can, you know, get here. And let's, um, let's get you. Let's do that. And... Where shall we put this? I've got two of these glowstone blocks here and here. Let's actually put them in here just in case. Uh, I've got to be aware that technically it is dark. So like for this farm, for instance, this very much needs a torch here. Ooh, I left the torch there. Um, this farm needs a torch here. Otherwise, that won't that won't grow. So I've got to be a little bit aware of that. Um, let's maybe just put that there for now. Um, so I'm going to move the ME system over here. Uh, and then what we're also going to do is all of the barrels, what I want is them basically to be like lined up on on this bit here. Uh, and one thing I haven't sort of gone over with the Yabba barrels, which are very much become my favorite thing ever now, um, is the barrel painter. So can we make one of these? Of course we can. So what we do is can I shift click? There we go. And let's go to quartz. Uh, quartz pillar. There you go. So this is now. This is now, you can see there, it says skin, pillar, quartz block. And if we do this, look, bam. Look at that, and it is now the skin of the quartz pillar block. And this can do, like, a lot of different blocks. Like, look at it. Look at the, the craziness of that. Um, so that's sort of what I want to do. I want to sort of arrange them in a, in a way that makes sense. And I think what we'll have is we'll, we'll ferry all of the chickens um, to these barrels via another way, basically. I won't have them just, you know, hoppering in their items. We'll do some sort of system and we'll put the chickens elsewhere. We'll build, like, some place for the chickens to actually be and, you know. So it sort of makes sense. But, yeah, I like that. That is a nice, that is a, quite a nice looking pillar now. So what I'm going to do is start moving. What I sort of also need to do is one, two, three, four, five. So maybe here is where it, the barrels can start. Um, and I don't know if I'm all, all going to do them on this side or whether we're going to have some on the sides. haven't really figured that out yet. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start start by doing like the metals. I think that would be a good a good thing to to start off with and things of that nature. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna this is going to take a while for me to sort of do. So obviously iron, and then I've got like. Some chickens here with like silver and nickel that I haven't actually barreled yet either. So I need to do that. And then we've got obviously uh, steel, gold, well, diamond probably would be good. A lot of that. Uh, what are you? Ele oh, oh, I have got. Oh, what's. Why is. Why is there electrical steel ingots in the compound item barrel? That's a bit weird. I don't understand. Oh, invar, there we go. Um, I am working on more chickens as well, just because when am I not working on chickens? So um, that's an obsidian chicken. I'm trying to get as well. There you go, electrical steel chicken. Ooh, I've got two. Okay, let's start. Let's start doing those because electrical steel is is you know annoying to have to do, and dark steel as well. 
And then these, this is in need of, this is basically trying to get a prismarine um, chickens. Prismarine chickens as well. So let me move my uh, ME storage first and then I'm going to start hooking up all of the barrels as well. Oh my, it has, it has finished. The quarry has finished. Look at that. We can actually see the end of that. So this is, this has been fully quarried quarried out now and you can sometimes <laughs> every now and again uh, the sky appears but look at this look at this craziness that we have here so i've put basically all the metals some of the like vanilla things as well as you can see and uh, most of those some of these we don't have like you know a lot of right now uh, including vibrant alloy completely forgot to make a chicken for that so i'm going to be doing that but uh otherwise we're doing quite well and i've i've sort of just for now I've sort of uh, very, very badly connected it like that to all of the um, all of the storage drawers, which we also need to, you know, move and change and do all of that with. But I thought we'd, you know, we'd one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Now I've just made some facades, um, which you make thusly like that, basically a, a cutting knife and like whatever ingot you have on hand. And I think we should be able. Can we? Can we do that? Is that? There we go, there we go, and that is just basically so that we can do that. And I think you can colour those as well, uh, I believe. And I think at some point we'll end up having another two um, terminals when we do, like... Uh, well, you can do fluid crafting and obviously auto crafting as well. Now, I don't think you can... Can we just put these here? I don't think we can, can we? I think they have to have, like, a, a something in front of them. But that means, yeah, I still can't get through. I'm, like, I'm looking for a way... To have one of these open so that we can get in here and, you know, get in here and do stuff if we need to. Because that would be very handy. That would be very handy. Uh, and I don't know what that is going to be. Now, all of this uh, I need to move as well. And this is going to be more of a... This is going to be a larger project is, uh, is doing all of this as well. Because I've got some which are, in, as you can see, we've got we've got two of these already on there. And then there's just a lot of stuff as well that I need to move. And I don't know, I don't know how exactly we're going to do those. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. But um, I just want to just check this. I, we could actually finish all of this storage. And that actually might be nice to do. Um, Black hole unit, I could hook up another export bus for the XP. Because we've got a lot of, it, lot of XP in here. And I was messing around with the enchanter from Cyclic. But I, I didn't really need to. And then obviously we need to sort this bit out as well. But uh, I'm liking the pillars. Uh, and honestly, moving all of this is going to take a fair amount of time. So maybe next episode we'll focus on um, on doing a little bit more progression again. And we'll, we'll sort of dip in and out of building and progression, you know. So that sort of goes hand in hand. That is still doing <laughs> rather excellently. Like this is just a beast. And we could actually make it a lot more efficient, I know. Uh, but it's doing rather well. So now my thought is, do I take this f like further up with just like all of those? Uh, I'm I'm wondering if that would be if that would be good, or whether you know we we do the sides as well. Maybe um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel I feel like just going up up the front basically, and like. Doing a lot of them, like, you know, like bone string and all of those things, the, the big things. And then, like, we can have, like, a row of skulls. Got a lot of trophies as well, which I don't know what to do with those, really. A lot of decisions to make, and I'm, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what we're going to do with all of those. And then you can see, obviously, I've put the ME drive there. And I think we'll probably end up with another two of those just to... Just to sort of have and have enough storage. And most of the things that we're storing are in Yabba. So I was thinking about our power situation. And uh, I've just taken a break from moving more barrels. And I've started this. This thing here. So if you're unaware what this is. This is the Draconic uh, Evolution Energy Core. And you can basically put it to whatever. I've put it up to tier 7. I don't know. If, yeah, there it is. Uh, tier 7. So you can like tier down, tier up. And it'll show you what to sort of do build guide active. So for this, and if you, we look here, it should sort of, it sort of tells you basically. So I'm doing tier 
7. I, I think if I'd have waited a little bit longer, I'd have probably had the Awakened Draconian blocks. But honestly, tier 7 is fine. Tier 8 is basically almost infinite, and it would take, like, millions of years for you to actually do it. I know it's not that's not technically true, but, you know, it, basically, basically. And, and so this build guide shows you, you can see... So we've got a like a core of redstone blocks and then uh, draconic blocks on the end. And these things here actually need um, to be something uh, like that. Uh, there we go. And then you, 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 and you. There you go. And those will be that there. So this is basically in the middle of the four pillars. So we'll probably do some sort of build finagling around that. But I just thought, you know what, we've got all that spare energy. Might as well be going into like a big battery. And this is one of the easiest ways of doing that. So I'm going to build that and then at least we'll have that whilst we're sort of getting our base, you know, a little bit more ready. Right then, so what this looks like once you're done is this. And basically now, so it should say stabilize is valid, core valid, activate and boom. There we go. We've got a nice little energy ball. Uh, and what we've got here, these are basically the energy pylons are for input and output um, of energy. So that will be input. So this one will be output. There we go. So this is, that is output, I think, isn't it? Uh, so this is for out, so we can add that. And then for adding to the network, I need another flux. Uh, flux um, plug, I believe. Is that right? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. That's, well, we'll find out. We'll find out now. Um, how is this? No, I've done that wrong. Of course, I have input. So I ah, so I'm guessing these need to be flipped around. That's what I thought I was doing wrong. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's try that then. Let's try that. So this should connect immediately, basically to that. Is that yes? There we go. There we go. We are now. We are now getting energy boom there we go look at that and they're already on like 20 odd million which is way way more than you know our little flux storage could do and then if we put this on here so that's if we want to basically take energy out we can boom there we go so this is all coming together now like that's looking that's looking rather cool yeah look at it i like it i like the looks of all of this um so I think next episode would be nice to... Oh, look at that. We've got some stuff. Let's let's get that. Diamond tier. I'll take those. Those are rather nice. And more black lotuses. Okay. I'd like to do a little bit more. A little bit more on, you know, stuff like this. These will be easy. Um, some of these will be easy. We can definitely probably do some of these. And then we've got, like, the mighty ender chicken. Kill the ender chicken. I have no idea what that is going to be like. I, I'm i sort of intrigued by that, so that might be interesting to do. And then we need fluid cows. Look at all the fluid cows we need to sort out as well. Um, still lots of work to do, and of course, I will, I will like, slowly but surely, we'll do um, movement of barrels to our main, our new main pillar, which I'm, I'm rather liking as well. Yeah, it's definitely all coming together. I like it. So thank you so much for watching. Me and my googly eyes. Hopefully you're still having fun with the series. I very much am. We've got we've got a lot of space to work with now, which is rather nice. So we need to fill it as well. And I think we'll probably end up doing more of these pillars as well. Uh, I just think they make everything look rather like epic, which I, I quite like. So I've been Hector. This has been Stoneblock 2. Do the liking, subscribing, commenting thing if you fancy. That would be rather lovely. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.